In today's video, I'm bringing you my Maximilian Pegasus 40 card character deck profile. Coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 YGO. In today's video I'm bringing you my 40 card Maximilian Pegasus character deck profile. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So here it is, uh, another version of my Pegasus deck. Uh, this time it's just down to 40 cards, like all of the, the profiles that I'm doing recently because they, they all featured in the 4-on-4 four four King of Games tournament. Uh, so the 40 cards, what I've done is I've basically built it around every time we've seen Pegasus in the show uh, and I've just kind of n narrowed it down to like the best 40. So of course there will be cards in here that um, are missing um, but this is basically kind of my take on what I think is the best build of his deck that I can make anyway. Uh, so of course let me know what your thoughts on this are in the comment section below. But anyway I'm going to kick start this off with the monsters. Okay kicking it off with the vanillas then. So we start with Dark Rabbit. It's a 4 star monster, 1100 attack, 1500 defense. Um, it's Dark Rabbit, it had to be in here. It's like a classic nostalgic Pegasus monster and I thought with um, 1500 defense you know it can stall for time. It's not too bad. Next up is Thousand Eyes Idol. Garbage card. 1 star monster, 0 attack, 0 defense. Of course we all know why it's in here. Next up is Toon Alligator, a confusing monster, 4 star, 800 attack, 1600 defense, so not bad stat wise when it comes to defense. The confusing part of it is why it wasn't made into a classic tune like we know obviously with the, the Toon World effects and maybe giving it its own effect, that'd be cool. Um, but no, unsure why. If anyone knows why this is just a vanilla, let me know in the comment section below, I'd be pretty interested. On to the effect monsters then, so with Pegasus deck being a tune deck, uh, majority of this is going to be effect monsters. And what better way to kick it off than with blue eyes toon dragon awesome card love the artwork on this super super sweet of course an eight star monster 3000 attack 2500 defense as we all know the card cannot be summoned unless toon world is on the field the card can also not attack at the same turn that is summoned uh, you have to pay 500 life points each time this monster attacks when toon world is destroyed this card is obviously destroyed as well if your opponent just doesn't control a two monster on the field, this card may inflict direct damage to your opponent's life points. If a two monster is on your opponent's side of the field, your attacks must target the two monster. So pretty much standard tune effect there. Um, the only thing we kind of do different is we don't pay the life point cost for when it attacks because I believe they didn't do that in the anime. Um, so when we do our character deck duels, of course, we try and keep it as realistic to the show as possible. So we take out any unnecessary effects like that and kind of play it how it was unless it's absolutely broken and then you know we will play it as, as standard next up crass clown four star monster 1350 attack 1400 defense so uh the effect is when this card is changed from defense position to attack position return one monster on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand of course i think this is a card that pegasus probably didn't play uh, but the reason it's in here same with the next card coming up uh, is that it's fusion materials for Bickery Box, of course a card which he did play, uh, but in the TCG and OCG they've made it a, uh, a fusion monster rather than just a normal monster. So these two are in here because I believe that Bickery Box is a cool monster uh, and deserves to be in the deck. Dream Clan, also the other fusion material I guess you can say. Uh, 3 star monster, 1200 attack, 900 defense. Uh, effect is when this card is changed from attack position to the defense position, select and destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. So they've both got pretty cool uh, effects to be fair. Uh, but like I said, the main reason they're in here is uh, for fuel for Bickery Box. Next up, Manga Rearound, the uh, the random two monster. The only two monster that doesn't have tune in its name. Uh, of course it is a 7 star monster, 2200 attack and 2600 defense. Pretty hefty defense there exactly the same standard effect as um blue eyes toon dragon so i'm not gonna bother reading that out like i said you know we are at some of it as well uh toon cannon soldier cool card it looks like a crazy bone uh four star monster 1400 attack 1300 defense uh leave a comment in the section below if anyone here remembers what crazy bones are but those things were mad awesome when i was in school so cool um as well as of course the the tune effects you can tribute one monster and inflict 500 damage to your opponent which is pretty cool next up the fan service toon dark magician girl six star monster 2000 attack 1700 defense exactly the same uh tune effect uh, except that this this one can actually attack the turn it's summoned so that's that's handy to note 
It also keeps the Dark uh, Dark Magician Girl's effect of that it gains 300 attack for every Dark Magician or Magician of Black Chaos uh, in either player's graveyard. So she may get a boost there if you're playing like Yugi or something, but who knows. Next up, Tomb Gemini Elf. This is cool. Four star monster, 1,900 attack, 900 defense. Cool artwork. Love the Gemini Elf. I think uh, I think it was cool that they, they, they turned the girls into tombs. Really cool. Uh, but when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, discard one random card from your opponent's hand, which can be a really, really horrible uh, little effect to play against. Tomb Goblin Attack Force. Uh, four star monster, 2,300 attack, zero defense. Um, same tune effects. I believe this uh, guy also keeps the same effect as Goblin Attack Force. Uh, if this card is attacked, it's changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase, and you can't change the battle position until the end of your next turn. So, yeah. Then we have Toon Masked Sorcerer. It's a four star monster, 900 attack, 1400 defense. Uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, draw one card from your deck. So it's kind of like an attacking pot of greed. Uh, then I run two copies of Toon Mermaid. Um, I, I needed one more monster to fill the deck out, and I thought, you know what? Toon Mermaid is pretty cool. So. Uh, she's not going to tip the balance of the deck in either way so i thought she'd be a cool one to run it too uh four star monster 1400 attack and 1500 defense just got the the normal normal standard tune effect on it but uh a cool nostalgic pegasus monster final tune is tune summon skull classic six star monster 2500 attack 1200 defense of course its effect is just that standard tune effect final monster in his deck then of course a ritual monster uh, relinquished, you know, crazy when this guy came out in the show. Um, one star monster, zero attack, zero defense. Of course, uh, select one monster on your opponent's side of the field and equip it to this card. Um, the effect can only be used once per turn and you can only equip one monster uh, at a time. The attack and defense of this card become the same amount as the monster equipped with this card and if the card is destroyed as a result of battle, the equipped monster is destroyed instead and any battle damage you received from the battle is also inflicted to your opponent's life points, which is absolutely horrible to play against. Uh, whenever this guy comes out you're just like, oh, I need like a spell or trap just to get rid of this or an effect, just I don't want to attack it don't want to attack it but cool card really cool card it kind of gave pegasus a bit more of a, a creepy side so onto the spell cards then of course we're gonna need black illusion ritual uh to summon relinquished next up i run a copy of card of sanctity the same as all of my other character decks i use it with the anime effect comic hand uh of course this was in the set dragon dragons of legend 2 where we got a lot of cool new tune monsters that really gave the uh, the pegasus deck uh, a boost. Uh, this one is cool. Equip spell card. Uh, if you control Tomb World, equip it to an opponent's monster uh, to take control of it. Uh, it is then treated as a Tomb Monster. If your opponent controls no Tomb Monsters, it can attack your opponent directly. If Tomb World is not on the field, then destroy this card. So it basically turns one of your opponent's monsters uh, into uh, a tune, which is really cool. Next up, a copy of Cost Down. Really handy card. So you discard one card to reduce the level of all monster cards in your hand by two until the end of this turn. Awesome. Next up, I run one copy of Mimikau, also known as Doppelganger, in the show. So, if you control Toon World and a Toon Monster, target one card in your opponent's graveyard. If it is a monster, you special summon it to your side of the field, or if it's a spell or trap card, set it to your side of the field. You can only activate one Mimikau per turn. Really cool card, so it's just going to steal something from your opponent's graveyard, which yeah, you know can come in really can come in handy. Next up, a copy of Monster Reborn, so you can bring something back from your graveyard perhaps. A copy of Polymerization, so we can fuse into our Thousand Eyes Restrict or Big Re Box. A Pot of Greed, so we can draw two cards from our deck. Next up, a copy of Shine Palace, so another equipped spell card. You equip it to a, a light monster and it gains 700 attack. Next up, uh, Shadow Tune. So if you control Tomb World, target one face-up monster your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponents equal to the attack of that face-up monster. Unbelievable. Really cool card. Just like a really sneaky quick attack on their life points. Especially if you've got something big out as well. Uh, can you right pain? Next up, a copy of Snatch Deal, a quick spell card again. Take control of one of your opponent's face-up monsters. Your opponent gains 1,000 life points uh, each of their standby phases. So yeah, once again, there's more kind of taking control of your opponent's stuff, which is kind of like a hidden theme in Pegasus's deck. Uh, a lot of people think, uh, oh, two monsters, but you know, there's there's a lot of kind of taking your opponent's cards and then using them against them. Next up, the awesome Toon Kingdom um, Field Spell Card. 
Uh, when this card is activated, banish three cards from the top of your deck face down. This card's name then becomes Tomb World while in the field zone. Uh, your opponent cannot target two monsters you control with card effects. If a two monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish one card from the top of your deck face down for each of those monsters instead. Really cool, really good form of defense there. Uh, but as well as Tomb Kingdom, of course, we have the classic Tomb World, which we're going to need in order to get our uh, two monsters onto the field and keep them there. Okay then, so Tomb Rollback. Uh, target one two monster you control. It can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Awesome, awesome card. Uh, then I run three Tomb Table of Contents. This is the last spell card in there. Uh, running this at three is an absolute must in any Tomb deck or any you know Pegasus character deck. Uh, basically, it's like a search card for tunes. You add one tune card or manga rear around from your deck to your hand, so you can just search for whatever you need at the time. So it's really, really handy, and having three of those is never going to hurt. Even if you've got more than one in hand, it's it's never, ever going to hurt. On to the trap cards then. So I run one copy of Jar of Greed. It just allows you to draw one card from your deck, but hey, you never know when you need that extra one card, so handy to have that in there. Uh, then I run a copy of Solemn Judgment, quick play trap card. When a monster would be summoned or a spell or trap card is activated, pay half your life points and negate the summon or activation. Uh, and if you do, destroy that card. So uh, hefty cost for what it does, but it, it does a lot for you. So if you absolutely need it, uh, this card can save uh, okay, you can definitely save you. Uh, so more cool tomb cards, uh, again from Dragons of Legend 2, but we've got tomb briefcase here. Uh, when your opponent summons a monster or monsters while you control a tomb monster, shuffle that monster or monsters into the deck. Really, really cool. Uh, then we've got tomb defense, continuous trap card. When an opponent's monster declares an attack targeting a face-up level 4 or lower tomb monster you control, you can make the attack a direct attack instead. So, you know, you're going to take damage, but if, if you need... Uh, if you need to kind of protect those monsters on the field, if you're saving for a tribute or something, then, you know, this can, like, buy you some time, I guess. Uh, next up, Toon Mask, or Shrek in a hat. Uh, if you control Toon World, target one face of monster your opponent controls. Special summon one Toon monster from your hand or deck whose level is less than or equal to the level or rank of that monster, ignoring its summoning conditions. Awesome. Final trap card is an old school one, actually. It's an uh, ultimate offering. Continuous trap card. At uh, the cost of 500 life points per monster, a player is allowed to extra normal summon or set. Really cool. Can definitely help if you're trying to get um, those higher monsters onto the field. Finally, Pegasus is extra deck then. So I've already mentioned the two monsters that are in here, but first of all, we've got Bickery Box. Uh, really cool card. I love the artwork on it. Definitely suits Pegasus's uh, kind of toon style, like absolutely down to a team. Uh, so it's uh, 2,300 attack, 2,000 defense, requires both Crash Clown and Dream Clown, which we have one of each in here. Then Thousand Eyes Restrict, uh, the next level of Relinquished. Uber small writing, but of course, to, to get this card on the field, we need Relinquished and Th Thousand Eyes Idol. Uh, as long as this card remains face up on the field, other monsters cannot change their battle positions or attack. Select one monster on your opponent's side of the field and equip it to this card. This effect can only be used once per turn and you, know, you can only equip one monster at a time. The attack and defense obviously become uh, the same as that card and then yes, yeah, so exactly the same effect. And of course when the monster is destroyed by battle, uh, the equip card goes instead. So almost pretty much the same as Relinquished except with the, uh, the added effect that they can't change battle position or attack. So pretty, pretty cool and impressive monster in Pegasus's deck. But there we go. That was my 40 card Maximilian Pegasus character deck profile. I hope you enjoyed the deck profile there. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'm really happy with this deck. Uh, obviously, like I said, I've narrowed it down to 40. I'm trying to make all my character decks 40 cards. So I'm not just loading it with everything they've used so we can get into their combos a lot quicker. Uh, but I'm really happy with this build. I think it's the best one I've done so far and it runs exactly like you'd expect a Pegasus deck to run, which is super, super awesome. But if you'd like to see more of these character deck profiles, character deck duels, Yu-Gi-Oh! fact videos and more, hit that subscribe button right now and if you found value in today's video don't forget to smash the like button share this video with a friend or leave me a comment in the section below i'm on social media as well so let's connect over there but once again thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video take care